I'm not even gonna front. 2023 was a rough year. It probably was for you as well, but you know what? We made it through, it is 2024, and we're gonna make the best of it. But, what did you learn? Hello my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to Be Aging Lifestyles. My name is Sabrina, but you can call me Brie. In today's video, we're going to talk about the reality versus the expectations of 2023. It has been a crazy year, but we got through it all. And we're gonna talk about all we wanna do for 2024. Despite how rough 2023 was, there were many positives. Definitely to start with our trip to Panama. Um, <laughs> which was absolutely amazing. And if you haven't watched that video yet, you can watch it right here. The link is right here. We have a full series on Panama. Absolutely loved it. And we will definitely be going back. You can also look out for some more travel videos from us. We're gonna to try to go throughout the Caribbean. Manifesting it, it's going to happen. We're doing some traveling throughout the Caribbean, so I wanna hear from you guys. I can't always be the one that gives you all the tips, all the tips, okay? So share a little bit, don't be gatekeeping. Let me know when you've traveled to the Caribbean, where do you think I should go? Like, I want the best rum shops. I wanna know about the mom and pop restaurants. You know the best beaches we don't want to do the tourist stuff we want to do the real authentic caribbean comment down below and tell me some of your favorite caribbean countries to travel to and some of your favorite spots some other highlights for 2023 was the oysters fish festival now i know it's been going on for years but i actually got to fully take it in i was going to say this year but last year 2023 and it was absolutely worth it very good <laughs> This what this what they call a cavalli. This is a cavalli. Yeah, nice. powerful fish, a very meaty fish. Nice. Huh? Just like that. Look, meaty factor. Look at that, man. Oh my God. If you want to watch that video, it's going to be linked right here. There was so much amazing stuff happening, but for me, the favorite part was the egg and spoon race and the grease pole. When those guys are like crawling up that grease pole, and they work so well together, the teamwork. It was fun, absolutely loved it. And of course the food and oysters, oysters fish fry on a Friday, every Friday. Actually, you can go to oysters just about any day. So if you haven't been to oysters yet and you're coming to Barbados, make sure that's on your list. Some other exciting stuff we did for 2023 was Paradise Nature Park. The emus, which are uh, kind of one of the biggest, finest birds related to ostriches. But a little bit smaller. Now if you have kids or even a kid at heart and you love animals you've got to go to a Paradise Nature Park. They've got donkeys, they've got pigs, they've got iguanas, they've got everything there so you've got to try it and if you want to watch that video the link is right here. The biggest things for me was to check off climbing to the top of Chalky Mill off my bucket list. To It's called Sleeping Lion I learned and he's taking us through a shortcut. Thank you! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> If you love Barbados, or you are thinking of coming to Barbados, this is something you definitely have to do. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> it is not for the faint of heart. It is an actual workout. We did it through the rain, we got scratches, we got bruises, but the view was absolutely worth it. If you want to learn more about that, the video is right here in the eye, and I will have it in my travel guide. The link to the travel guide will be in the description down below for you guys, and it will have all the real authentic Beijing experiences that you need to do when coming to Barbados. So what were some of your highlights for 2023? Leave a comment down below. Let's start a conversation. Now, on to 2024. This is the year of progress, success, and I'm manifesting it for myself, for Beijing Lifestyles, and for you guys too. So leave us some comments. Let me know. What do you want to do for 2024? Let's put that thought into action by writing it down. So what should you expect from Beijing Lifestyles for 2024? Let's start off with more authentic, real, raw Beijing experiences. We're gonna be doing a series called Everyday Beijing, the hometown heroes, like the fishermen, you know, like the coconut vendors, you know, the guys that saw the Aki's on the side of the road. We're really giving you the best of Barbados, the real culture. 
And on top of that, it's not just those who live here. We're going to be connecting with the diaspora and we're going to bring people from around the world who love Barbados. You never gotta be Bajan. Like you've been here once or twice, you are officially a Bajan. And those who are born here are, you just love the country? We're gonna be chatting with you. We're gonna do a lot of lives, so a lot of connections so you guys can share your thoughts and let us know what do you wanna see. So with that said, what do you wanna see on Bajan Lifestyles for 2024? I know, I know resolutions can be somewhat a little bit daunting and like, oh, do I really want to be making these resolutions for things I want to do in 2024? You know what? Let's, let's hold each other accountable. I'm going to post more videos. I'm going to have more authentic stuff that you guys want to see. I remember somebody even commenting one day wanted to go to a real old time bakery. I'm going to do that for 2024. Hold me accountable. Call me out on this video. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys want to see? And I want to hear what are your resolutions for 2024. Gotta get right. Can't keep saying 2023. I need your help as well. Help me find the best room shops to go to. I want to hear which granny and whose granny makes the best put in the house. Actually, I try to figure out who makes really good fish cakes because I'm a really hard fish cake critic. So let me do a series on who has the best fish cakes. So leave a comment down below. Tell me where I should go in Barbados. If you know of anything, I have a few places in mind, but I want to hear from you. Where do you think we should go next? Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. We're going to be connecting with the diaspora. We're going to be connecting with the diaspora. That's how you see the word. We're going to be connecting with the diaspora and we're going to bring people from around the world who love Barbados. You never gotta be Bajan. 